Hello and welcome to this overview of Google Analytics. Google Analytics is a website reporting tool used by advertisers, publishers, and small businesses, businesses of all sizes, to be able to measure different key performance indicators related to their business. And so we're going to just take a couple minutes to look at some of the key aspects. Right now I am looking at the Google Analytics dashboard for eBiz ROI internet marketing service provider and you'll see that one of the first things that stands out that's central in the dashboard is the visits and we'll see that those are graphed over time and it happens to default to a 30-day rolling window so June 24th 2001 to July 24th 2001 and we can see there's some ups and downs and can probably correlate some of the peaks in the graph with different activities such as blog posts or possibly some social media activity in terms of sharing possibly some social bookmarking and a key aspect of what's being tracked here is visitors so if I click on the visitors I can drill down and get a little bit more information in terms of the number of visits how many absolute unique visitors that I had during that 30-day period and of those visitors how many pages did they view in aggregate so 1489 or an average of 1.62 page views per visitor the average time on site which was 1 minute and 35 seconds and then the next metric called bounce rate which is defined as how many people or what percentage of visitors come to a site and leave without visiting a second page we can see that the bounce rate here is almost 77 percent so well, the good news is we're getting 80 percent of our visitors are new visitors so that's good the opportunity for improvement would be to increase time on site which is one key engagement metric as well as to reduce the bounce rate so I'd like to see that go down below 50 percent and I'd like to see time on site be over three minutes so I can set certain goals and then use the analytics capabilities that we're looking at here to be able to measure against those goals now in addition to visitors another key aspect of what I might be interested in is looking at where are they coming from I might be interested to see what parts of the world are people coming from and here we can see that there's a shaded heat map of the world and we can see that a lot of my visitors come from the United States but we can also see that 503 visits came from the United States but for instance 80 visits came from India 25 visits from Australia 10 visits from Brazil and if I wanted to I could click on the map and drill down and I could see that within the United States that a majority of my visits are coming from New York which is based on a regional focus of eBiz ROI and then furthermore I can drill down into the New York area and I can see that around the business the serving area for the capital district in Albany New York I see that there's a high concentration of visits but there's also visits in Long Island visits in New York and different parts of the state western New York for instance so another key area that we would be interested in looking to analytics for is where are people coming from this is a very important aspect of analytics and reporting and we can see here that we have a number of different traffic sources and I'm looking at the top traffic sources report and I can see that Google for now at least is the top traffic source with 403 visits for this 30-day period but what I see is a trend not only with eBiz ROI's website but with client websites that social media is starting to drive more and more traffic which I think is not only true on websites individually but collectively as an aggregate the internet is being driven more and more by social media websites and then I can drill down into Google for instance and find out for organic search which is also called natural search which particular keywords are people using to find our site so the interesting thing is the top keyword at least for this 30-day window had to do with a particular event that was used to uh, as a fun event for eBiz ROI we can see that drove 11 visits we can also see that specific metrics about engagement so that particular one was a fun keyword and we see that that drove a lot of engagement not necessarily a lot of business but certainly drove a lot of engagement possibly some inbound links 
We can also see that the Insider Pages business listing was a search term that drove six visits during that period. Those folks were probably laser targeted uh, based on their long tail search phrase and based on the blog post that addresses that need that they were going to just that one page and that there was 100% new visits but also 100% bounce rate. So these are some of the, the things that I can find out in terms of what particular keywords are driving traffic, how much traffic, and how engaged are people that search for those key terms and actually click through to the website. I can also look at which referring sites are driving the most traffic. So I see that Facebook by far, that Facebook.com at 170 visits for this 30 day window is driving the most traffic and then Google second, LinkedIn third and so forth. So this is a good piece of information when you have a linking strategy and you have partners that link to you it's good to see how much traffic that you're generating from those or if you participate in paid directories for instance if you may par participate in a chamber of commerce or a local business professional association you can see how much traffic that particular web page that may link to your website is driving for your business and sometimes these can help drive business decisions in terms of where you make your investments. Now the last thing that I'll talk about is content and we can see that one of the key aspects of Google Analytics is to tell us what content are people looking at when they come to their website. And This can be really important because it can help us focus our energy more on where people are spending time and less perhaps on pe where people aren't spending time or if it's an area of focus for us just because somebody's not spending time it may be an opportunity for us to enhance that part of the web experience and drive more engagement so as we can see here the top page is the home page which is not uncommon for a website about 25 almost 26 percent of the page views were from the home page and then we see that the Facebook adding a Facebook like button to your website blog post actually got almost 10 percent of the page views for this 30-day window or 138 page views and then the blog as the home page of the blog itself for eBiz ROI's internet marketing blog got 97 visits or roughly six and a half percent of the page views for this period and so on you could click through to see a full report and look at all the content people are looking at and again some of the things to look at are average time spent on the page so which pages are driving the most engagement and I can sort by any of these columns and also look at bounce rates so some pages have a lower bounce rate such as the home page which makes sense people would go deeper into the site and then there's pages that maybe have a higher bounce rate and represent an opportunity for improvements to drive more user engagement so this has been a quick overview of Google Analytics sharing some eBiz ROI real site data current as of today and I hope that you found this segment interesting and also will consider adding Google Analytics or a similar package to your website Google Analytics is freely available and eBiz ROI does offer services to install, configure, set up and train users on how to use Google Analytics to drive better business decisions, increase sales while maximizing your return on marketing investment. Thanks for watching and we look forward to talking with you soon.